Today I'd like to talk to you about CAAPM 9.7's new feature called End User Endpoint Monitoring, specifically how it can be used to monitor mobile applications using the CA Mobile Application Analytics or MAA product. In APM 9.7, we have introduced a new feature called End User Endpoint Monitoring. This allows external user endpoints, such as a mobile application, to send business transaction information and metadata back to APM so that we can understand its business context as the transaction flows through the backend application systems. This all begins with CA Mobile Application Analytics, which is used to monitor the mobile apps that are physically running on the devices that your customers and clients are using to access your applications and your infrastructure. Let's take a look at how this all works. So now let's log into APM WebView and take a look at the mobile transactions as they are being handled by the backend system. When we enter APM WebView, we are greeted with the overview page or landing pad. When we take a look, we can see, for example, some of the mobile transactions such as Android 4, iOS 8, and iOS 7 for view product. These are how the back end views these mobile transactions so that we can understand the context of them compared to a traditional web call to view products. To see the relationship between the components and how the transactions flow through the system, we can go to the app map. Clicking on the investigator and clicking on, for example, tick exchange, we can start looking at the app map. Let's take a look a little deeper. So now let's zoom in and take a look at some of our transactions. What I can see here is view shop product via iOS 7, and we can see shop add item to cart via iOS 8. You'll notice this one has a yellow alert, indicating there is a potential problem. We can investigate this further, or we could follow through and trace where things are happening, but in this case, let's take a look at the metric browser. So now looking in the investigator, we can expand the tree and take a look at the business segment data for our web transactions and our mobile transactions. This is the view that the JVM has and the backend systems have of that inbound mobile transaction or web transaction. In this case, here's for example sign-on from our iOS 8 users. If you'll notice, we can also see the counts for the providers. This is important when trying to discern patterns in how users potentially are using the system. In some cases, you may see that users have dropped off because they are no longer able to access from, for example, Verizon or Bell or AT&T, but can access from Wi-Fi. This is very useful in cases where physical locations are influenced, such as you have a Wi-Fi in your brick and mortar facility, or if you have an arrangement with one of these mobile vendors for high-speed access and now suddenly that's gone down and they've, people are switching over to Wi-Fi. If we were going to triage a problem, we've got a few choices. We could go out and we could click on tools. We could obviously look for any live errors if there are. We can also go out and start a transaction trace. When we start transaction traces, we can go out and we could say, you know what? Let's trace any user that's coming from iOS or any user from iOS 7. So I'll trace all iOS users. And this particularly are calls only when those users are coming from iOS. You'll notice via iOS 8. If I go through and I start looking, I don't see any of my Android users here because I specifically said let's only trace the iOS users. This is one of the more powerful features when you're triaging and troubleshooting a problem. For example, your application may make different requests when it's coming from Android or iOS because in the end there are different code bases making those requests. If you'd like more information about CAAPM, you can go to our YouTube channel to view technical videos.